my name is Eric Drain, PGI Golf Professional at Oakwood Country Club. In today's lesson, we're going to be challenging the, the thought that overswinging is hurting your golf game. So, what is overswinging? Overswinging is when we're swinging the club past parallel or we're swinging the club too fast. And, and in some cases, that can cause problems. But we have to understand what point in our swing or at what point in our swing are we overswinging. So that, that's the first thing we have to address. So I like to think of the swing as really focusing on the turn. So when I make this turn, if that's as far as I can turn without coming out of my posture, that's the top of my backswing. Now that position is gonna be different for everybody. Everybody uh, has different flexibility needs and, and, and abilities and the, those abilities can lead some people to swing it much longer. For example, you know, uh, a Bubba Watson, he swings it much longer because he's a lot more flexible, he has longer arms, so he swings past parallel. And what's he able to do when he swings past parallel? Well, he's able to generate a lot of speed. So I don't think we have to have that notion stuck in our head that parallel is the spot every golfer has to get to, okay? Everybody's different. If you look out on tour, there's a lot of guys that are successful with very long swings. There's guys that are successful with short swings. And then there's a lot of guys that are successful with that, that stopping point that's around parallel, okay? Everybody can be a little different, but the important thing is the second part. And that is how we transition our speed, okay? This is where a lot of amateurs struggle. They're not sure how to transition that speed down into impact. Usually what they're trying to do is, in a lot of cases, and for people who are struggling, they want to get the swing over as quick as possible. So they're going to take it back real quick, go from the top, and just really flip those hands through impact. Okay, That's not how we want to do it. We want to make sure we're using our body. And how do we do that? By making a good turn. And I like to think of the swing as a gradual progression of speed. So we're gonna start off a little slower, collect ourselves, and then from there, we're really gonna focus on creating that speed by rotating, okay? I don't wanna create it by throwing the club down into the ball. I wanna create it by using my lower body and my chest to rotate through that shot. So what a good drill is to just take it up to the top, stop for a second, do a little pump, feel like you can collect yourself and really focus on how your rotation is help carrying that club through impact. That's going to help create more speed and it's also going to help you stay in balance and create good contact. So my, my general consensus is that everybody's swings a little different and parallel isn't necessarily the spot everybody has to get in their backswing but understanding that that transition of speed from backswing to downswings and, and understanding how the, the lower body and chest need to rotate through is the most important part of that. So overswing, not necessarily a bad thing for your game, especially if you're looking to create some more speed. So um, flexibility, uh, increasing your flexibility is a great way to generate some more speed. Uh, and, then, and that's, that's the name of the game now. Everybody wants to hit it farther, so uh, do those few things and you'll be successful out there. Remember, subscribe to the video down below, hit the like button, leave me any comments. Uh, I love reading those. And remember, let me help you play better golf.